Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, we explored the Striden City area and went to the Dream Yard as the behest the advice of many people. I don't even know if I used that word correctly, but we got ourselves an elemental monkey to serve as a temporary team member already competently leveled. I got the least popular of all Pokemon. Lucky me. This time, as you would guess, we are going to be taking on the Stride and Sim City Gym Leader, Minus Minus Minus, Triple Trouble. Oh my gosh, we're fighting three minus signs and not one. Ugh, with a name like that, you know what the naming schemes are usually like. He's probably going to use lots of debuffs. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Get this started. Also, there is a giant spoon on the face of this building. If they ever make a sequel to the room, this building needs to be in it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenge in the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. I will keep this bottle of water as a souvenir for years to come as per your instruction. Hey, don't look at me funny. I have bottles of water with Nintendo logos on them from Nintendo events that I've kept as souvenirs for years to come. This is a regular occurrence for me, but that is, I believe, 50 HP tying it with the Super Potion. We are very proud of our menu, which we adjust to suit each trainer. All right. So, um, I guess kind of going with the theme of the water bottle that we were given for free like they have to do at restaurants, this place is a restaurant. To advance, you just step on the icon that's super effective on the curtain in front of you. A little bit of a tutorial there. Welcome to Striaton Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. I love your visual theming here. And there he is, serving up a plate of nice hot balls. <laughs> Even though he only has one. Uh, don't read too into that. Uh, anyway, Pokemon just asking for innuendos. Here, um, so, in our first battle right here, I want to talk about just how much this battle system just rules. Just how lightning fast everything is. Those text boxes, I can advance through them so fast, the animations don't waste your time. The dynamic camera gets in on the action right away, zooms right back, and all the sprites are fully animated while this is happening. It's just, it's night and day that this is on the same system that Diamond and Pearl was on. I don't know what they did though, but kudos to them for optimizing it this much because holy crap, that battle's over already before I even had a chance to gush about it enough. You're a trainer with a lot of pepper, or a lot of water. They both technically have food applications. Actually, all three of these main types do shoot. That's probably why they mix the whole three-type thing with a restaurant. I catch on to the basic concepts only seven years too late, apparently. Got another waiter. Or is it going to be waitress? Yeah, Waitress. Okay, so they did make that distinction. She is really adorable. Wow, like, I never noticed how cute her sprite is. Just the way that she's standing, and her dress, and her face, and her hair, and the little thing that waitresses wear on their head only in Japan that I don't know what it's called, which is what I'm calling it. <laughs> yeah, she's no threat whatsoever. We got yet nor another normal type here. So much for that whole type trend. <laughs> And we go to level 14. I am hoping that that's enough to power through this. Uh, Purloin. Gonna train you until your biceps explode, I guess. Uh, you're growling at me. That's fine. I wasn't counting on using a physical attack on you anyway because I know what same type attack bonus is like. There we go. Gotta mention it every single time. And you're down. One, two, three experience. Easy as one, two, three. That was one of our most popular dishes. Did you enjoy the battle? Your most popular dish is having your customers beat up a cat and a rat? Okay. <laughs> sure. I guess foreign delicacies around New York City that you find in the melting pot of the culture is rather interesting and possibly strange to people who are new to the area. We open up this final door, and I want to go back and heal. <laughs> Gosh, how many games is it going to take before they finally have a fixed healing point right in front of the gym leader? I'm just saying, so often you have to backtrack, and sometimes gyms have long, lengthy puzzles that you just don't want to have to redo. I, I don't like it. It takes way too long, and why not have the gym leader heal you? It would just be nice, thoughtful game design that inconveniences no one. Welcome to the Striaton City Pokemon Gym! He's multiplying! I'm chilly. I light things up with fire-type Pokemon! I'm a water type specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is. 
it's pronounced silent. I don't like it either. Even though these three are based on the ingredients of salsa, so it's quite clearly cilantro, I guess now I know what happened to all those people that pronounced it jalapeno pepper. Yeah, they all grew up to work at Nintendo and I didn't. I'm sorry, I know that's how the anime pronounces it, but it's wrong. <laughs> um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here, well, er... Oh, enough, listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of fir the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was water type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my grass type will, um, we're gonna battle, come what may. So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll, um, put everything I've got into being, a, you know, your opponent. I love this idea! The fact that you fight against whichever type you are weak to as your first gym battle, and the gym is designed around teaching you the triangle. I know that you've had a few opportunities to pick that up by now, but this is such a cool idea, and it sure as hell beats making the first gym rock type yet again. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, he is opening up with the clearly grass type Lillipup, level 12 with pickup for its ability with the moves bite and work up. That's it. It having that for its ability just made me realize I probably should have equipped my Orenberry before this fight. It just kind of slipped my mind. Definitely something that you want to do. Uh, do I want to focus energy right now? Yeah, he's probably gonna buff on turn one. Let's try it. See just how well we do. I'm probably gonna have to resort to using my Panseer anyway, as much as I don't want to admit that. Uh, he's using Workup right there. That is a buff to the attack and special attack once each, but his move set's kind of awful for it. It only buffs his bite. <laughs> um, yeah. So I want to do that. Let's hopefully get the critical hit with Water Gun right here. I need to not take. Oh gosh, uh, he's buffing his attack and special attack a bunch. And by a bunch, I mean, well, okay, it is basically a Swords Dancer and Acid Plot at this point. Ah, oh, my Pokemon! Critical hit would be perfect right now, just so we can't heal. Nope. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, 13 damage. Not the end of the world. He's going to use his potion, but that's okay because we're going to do half his health bar. I was really hoping you'd correct me on that, Ottawa, but it just doesn't seem like it's meant to be. And coming up. Remember when I was saying how dynamic music is gonna be a big part of this experience? This is the best any time a chip leader's down to their last Pokemon! so much of the anime and it's just it's so encouraging like it's cheering you on of course you get the critical hit I uh, I was hoping to get through this fight with just Ottawa being able to solo it but that's okay you're going to lose to the offspring of the 721st most popular Pokemon how does that make you feel uh, you're gonna be fighting whichever elemental monkey they have you've seen it on the side of the screen there we go I kind of lost my train of thought there against Lillipup because there was so much going on but the reason why I was reminded that I wanted my Ooh, this is bad um, the reason why I was reminded that I wanted my um, Orenberry equipped is that pickup has been buffed if your opponent uses a consumable hold item you mirror the effect of it in battle so it's no longer just a field effect can be kind of nice if you're forced to use your Lillipup in battle which I might be in a moment because he's totally gonna heal and I just I hit for nothing I know that I'm four levels weaker than him I get that I oh he's not gonna heal okay good thing I healed because now I can survive this unless he gets another crit good and that was a pretty easy win actually <laughs> I guess now we get to see the reverse side of the spectrum and get tons of level ups. <laughs> level 11. See, that experience mechanic isn't always bad. What a surprise, you are very strong. Seems like not even Chili or Crest could beat you.
The Trio Badge. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. TM83 Workup, what we were just hearing about when we were exploring the town. Just about every Pokemon is able to learn this, and it's a nice buffing move that you might as well teach to most of your Pokemon, just in case you don't have anything better filling that slot. I probably won't use it much myself, but oh well. If you use Workup, the Pokemon's attack and special attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. And isn't it beautiful? I can't believe TMs can be used over and over! I know, right? I'm so excited about that! You get what's up! Not those purists who are like, I enjoy replaying the game over and over again to have to grind Earthquake TMs. Ah, just no. So good. If there were 17 siblings in the Strident City Gym, there could be a specialist for each type of Pokemon. <laughs> uh, let's hope it doesn't come to something that complicated in the future. <laughs> yes, it auto-detects what type you are the most weak to across everyone in your party and then does that. I hope you'll always remember the incredible moment when you received this gym badge. Thanks for that. You might not be called the champ in making to me anymore, you might have an actual name, but I accept you no less. Hi there, I'm Fennel. Ah, oh, we heard about you from the professor. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. You're gonna meet all of the Pokemon in the Unifer region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here! How full of wonder and whimsy. My room is upstairs here. Come on, go upstairs. She's actually pretty cute. <laughs> so like I said, I'm Fennel, as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. You are free to study me under whatever magnifying glass you want to study me under. <laughs> she asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. We obtained HMO1 cut. There are some moves that a Pokemon can use even when it is not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down a small tree. And you can use the hidden machine as many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? But it's di difficult for a Pokemon to forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you, you a favor too. There is this place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that a Pokemon there called Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync to collect game files of various trainers. I'm sorry, you're too cute for me to be the one to let you down. I'll let you find out the sad truth on your own. But anyway, we've obtained our first gym badge, which we're able to tap on, and we're going to polish it up a little bit. I actually didn't realize that you could polish this up on screen. I thought that that was only in Sinnoh, and oh my gosh, that sound is so adorable. <laughs> I probably think that's way more cute than I should, though. But anyway, yeah, we got our first gym badge. We got our... Wow, Blair looks absolutely livid over this recent development. Wow, he looks pissed off with the sprite aliasing the way it is. Um, I think for right now, that's a pretty good note to end things off on. Next time on Pokemon White version, we're going to be seeing what this hidden machine is able to do for us. We're going to... Actually, before I have a chance to forget, well, let's actually see what we have on our pull-up pops up. Oh, wow. Uh, three more items. We only had one in the gym battle. In that short amount of time, we got two more. Escape rope lets us escape from dungeons at any point. We haven't seen one of those yet. Ultra ball! Whoa! Okay, that's better than a great ball, but not as good as a dusk ball in darkness. Oh. Potion. I am so happy I did this. Sorry, Ottawa, that you couldn't be around to see me in my greatest time of happiness. Oh well, I'll tell you all about what I was like when I won the gym badge when you wake up. See you guys then.